Well, the Sanibel Prescribed Fire Task Force will meet today, and they're going to talk about burns that are scheduled for the island. Fox 4's John Barron is live from Sanibel this morning. And, John, it looks like we're going to see more of those prescribed burns because of our last storm season. Yeah, so Lisa, because of Hurricane Ian, there is an abundance of debris that we see really here on the island. I want you to kind of take a look right here behind me. You can kind of see all the debris that we have, even still, uh, you know, seven months after Hurricane Ian. And this is what that task force is going to be speaking to residents about here on the island, talking about those prescribed burns and what they should be looking for and what that will all entail. Now, with all the dead vegetation on the ground and the lack of rainfall we've seen so far this year, the task force says that there is a higher chance for wildfires. Now, to reduce that risk, the task force says that they plan to conduct prescribed burning in, in natural areas to uh, remove dead vegetation, mainly from the hurricane. And those obviously fireworks, uh, excuse me, uh, and those fires work to replenish this soil for uh, future growth as well. And those prescribed burns actually reduce the risk of wildfires and increase the health of habitats for wildlife. And it's important to also note that people with respiratory problems to uh, understand the burn schedule because the task force says that it might not be the best for them to be outside and it would probably be safe for them to stay inside on those days that they do burn if you're going to have a problem with breathing. Now the meeting will be taking place today at 530 and also be taking place at the Ding Darling Visitor Environmental Center and they will be streaming this online so you can have all that information on our website at fox4now.com. For now live here on Sanibel, John Barron, Fox 4.